Our topic is cockroach in organ and organ systems in animals. So cockroach zoological name is Periplaneta americana. So classification of cockroach phylum arthropoda class insecta order orthoptera genus Periplaneta species americana. So first we will deal with the external characteristics nothing but the morphology. So the size of the cockroach is so the length this is the length okay. So this portion is the length portion. So the length of the cockroach is 2 to 4 centimeters and the width is 1 centimeter. So the width is 1 centimeter and the length is 2 to 4 centimeter. So the body of cockroach is drawsy ventral. So it has up and lower side. So this portion is the upper side. At the back side it is called lower portion. That is the ventral portion. So it can, it may, that is it is drawsy ventral. Ventral means both upper and lower surface is there. Okay. Bilateral symmetry. Bilateral means the cockroach can cut at only one plane and it can at one plane it can give two equal halves and segmentation so you can see the segments here no so the body is segmented and the body is divisible into three regions so the three region is head and this is the thorax and this portion is the abdomen portion so the body is divisible into head thorax and abdomen and the entire body color of cockroach is brown in color. So it is due to the chitinous exoskeleton. Okay, it's chitinous exoskeleton. In each segment, so the exoskeleton, we are talking about the exoskeleton that is, this is, this portion is the exoskeleton portion. Okay, there are hardened plates which are called scleritis. That is hardened plate like structure which is called sclerotis. So it is scleritis. Okay. So they are joined together by a delicate and elastic articulate membrane or orthodial membrane. So these sclerotis join together to form an orthodial membrane. So the sclerotis that is the scleritis. So on the drosal side it is called teri. Jitis. So on the upper surface the cleritis is called teri that is tergitis and on the ventral side it is called strenitis. So the scleritis on the upper surface it is called as terigitis and the lower surface is, it is called as strenitis. So the lateral side that is the sclerostids which present at the side so you, you can see this side, in this side, side portion it is called pleurotus. So the exoskeleton, this is the exoskeleton. It is a delicate structure and it forms of scleritis which forms a articulate, that is articular membrane means it is a movable membrane. So nothing but they are talking about this wings, okay. So they are. A mobile membrane the scleroitis on the upper side that is drosal means on the upper side it is called as tergitis and lower side it is called as sternitis on the sides it is called as lateral means side so on the side it is called as pleuritis the head region you can see there is a triangular shape head region okay triangular shape shape head region okay so it is very small triangular shape head region in the head region only the mouth parts are present okay so there is the fusion of six stamens that is six segments so the six segments are fused to form the neck portion so here the neck portion is there below the head that portion is some seg six segments are fused which is called cervicum or neck and the head the head capsule so the outer covering of the head it is called capsule 
it has pair of compound eyes so it has compound eyes that is how many compound eyes a pair of compound eyes and you can see an antenna here that too in pair so a pair of compound eyes and a pair of antenna was present okay so the, what is the function of antenna is it is acting as a sensory receptor and due to the sensory receptor present in the antenna it is monitoring the environment okay so the appendage is seen in the mouth so which is used for biting that is biting is nothing but biting <laughs> chewing type so that was called as mandibular or orthopterous type so the mouth parts consist of a labium upper lip a pair of mandibles a pair of maxill maxillae a labium in lower lip a hy hypopharynx that is the tongue or lingua so these are the mouth parts we can see here in detail so this is the head region you can see the head region and the compound eye and the antenna and this is called the upper lip labium the head region you are seeing here so upper lip, that is upper lip and the mandible maxillary and the labium so we can see it uh, differently that is uh, separately different not separately so this portion is the labium so and the next it is maxillae so these are the, that is two pairs of maxillae no so maxillae and you can see the mandible region also here and labium and this is the hypopharynx this they can ask draw the parts of mouth parts of cockroach they can ask okay and next we move on to the thorax region so the thorax region is divided into three that is prothorax mesothorax and metathorax this portion is the thorax region and it is divided into prothorax mesothorax and metathorax okay so prothorax that is the largest part so it that is the largest part it connects the neck and the uh, head that portion is called cervicum okay so the each thorax bears that is the segments and it bears a pair of walking legs so in the thorax region only it has that is the each segment has the walking legs okay okay each that is having the walking legs so due to the presence of three pairs of walking legs it is also called as hexapodia so it has three pairs of walking legs so three pairs means 3 into 2 6 so it is called as hexapodia hexa means 6 podia means feet so all the three pairs of walking legs are similar so three pairs of walking legs are same so they are same and each consist of that is coxa that is the large one and next it is trochanter small one femur long and broad tibia long and thick torus so these are the five segments seen in each leg okay let me see whether it is they have given here so they have just given the metathoracic like that only they had given they have not given the parts okay and the last segment of the leg the torus has five movable joints or podomeres or tarsomeres okay cockroach has a pair of wings the first pair that is for two pairs not a single pair the cockroach has two pairs of wings the first pair is from the mesothorax so it protects the hind wings so from the mesothorax the first pair arises and it protects the hind wings and it also when they are in rest it is called as elytra or tegmina and the second pair of wings which is arises from the metathorax and it is used for flight so the abdomen in both male and female consists of 10 segments so they are same okay both are 10 segments male and female and each segment it is covered it is covered by a dorsal tergum so they have covering called dorsal tergum and ventral sternum okay that is tergitis and sternitis each one is covered by 
tergum and sternum. So there is a narrow membrane, pleura, that is from the pleuritis, it is covered by a pleuron on each side. So in female, the seventh sternum is boat shaped. So you can see here, this is the male type and this is the female type. To variate the first, that is to variate from the both the male and female, that is the sum of the verification, that is the seventh sternum is boat shaped. And the eighth and the ninth, they are joined together, eighth and ninth sternum and forms a brood or genital aperture whose anterior part contains, that is the seventh is boat shaped and the eighth and ninth joined together to form, to form a genital pouch like structure. So it consists of gene, that is female gonophore, sperm thecal pores, collateral glands. So these are present and the posterior parts. So the posterior parts contains othecal chamber. So in which the cocoons are formed. Okay. In which the cocoons are, this is called the cocoons, that is the cocoons will be forming there. Okay. So in male, the genital pouch lies at the hind end of the abdomen bounded rostrally 9th and the 10th tergum and ventrally by the 9th sternum. So where in the, that is in the male, the genital pouch is seen in the 9th, 10th tergum and in the 9th sternum ventrally if you see it. So, it contains drosral anus and ventral genital pore. That is in the last segment. It has a, here you can the anus and the genital pore can be seen here. Okay. So, in both the sexes, the genital apertures are surrounded by scleritis called gonophysis. So, in both male and female, it got a surrounded by a scleritis called gonophysis. And next, Male bears a pair of short, slender anal styles. So this is called the anal style. This is seen in male only. Okay. But it is absent in female. In both segments, the 10th segment bears a pair of jointed filamentous structure called anal cerci. So in both you can see this anal cerci. So this one it is the anal cerci in both you can see in both the sexes. The seventh sternum of male has a pair of large oval apical lobes or gynovalvary plates which forms a key like structure which distinguishes the male and the female. So in the seventh segment you can see in a clean like segment that is clean like structure that is here they have not shown it. So it is a key like structure to variate the male from the female. So that till now you have seen the morphology and this is more, more to known. Cockroaches are ancient and most basic among all groups of insects. So dating back to the Corbinoforus period about 320 million years ago the cockroaches have been occurred. So they are so ancient. So one of the fastest moving land insect is the cockroach. They can move as fast as 5.4 km per hour. This they can ask in your NEET and one mark in board exam. So differences between male and female cockroach. This they can ask for 5 marks. So abdomen. The male cockroach is long and narrow and the female cockroach has short and broad segments. So ninth segments are nine segments are visible in the abdomen in the male, and the female cockroach in the abdomen. That is seven segments are visible. Anal styles are present in the male cockroach, absent in the female cockroach. Terga the seventh tergum covers the eighth tergum in male. In female the seventh segment that is seventh tergum covers the eighth and the ninth tergum. Broad that is brood pouch. Absent in male, present in female. Antenna, longer in length in male and shorter in length in female. Wings, extend beyond the tip of the abdomen in male. In female, extends up to the end of the abdomen. So these are the differences they can ask in your pie mark. Hope you understand the topic. If you have any doubts, post the doubts in the comment box. I had given the Tamil link 
the description box if you want you can go and watch it give a thumbs up share and subscribe to science easy tech channel